it won't hinder them in the firefight. And what you're noticing because of the calm wind is that smoke is so stagnant. Stay, yeah. I mean, it's just sitting right there because you don't have anything blowing it around. Because the winds are light, we also have some pretty thick fog settling in. So fog really limiting okay. visibility in north central Oklahoma. In the metro, it's kind of patchy. Okay. Uh, it's thicker near Chickasha. Yep. One thing we're watching. But we're also going back through what happened yesterday because, my goodness, goodness, it's been historic November. Yeah. Wettest November on record. <sighs> Yeah. Now the most, most tornadoes, tornadoes ever in the wow. month of November. Well, on record. How on many record. did we have yesterday? So yesterday, six. We've got surveys for two, but the thing is, there are several more areas that will be looked at, potentially three additional spots where brief spin-ups may have occurred. So very preliminary, but 22 is the number. Now the record, we've already shattered that, from, it was 12, said back in 1958. So for the month of November, it's been historic for Oklahoma so. and also been historic for the amount of moisture and rain that we have picked up. So of course, we had some wind damage. We will see if some of these other reports were actually brief tornadoes because the circulation was definitely there. The EF1 is what touched down near Gould and EF0 east of Manga. But Marty Logan was out yesterday. Of course, even his pickup, some of those roads, he couldn't go down because it was so muddy. Let me show you some of the damage that he came across. That's irrigation. That's a pivot right there. And take a look at it. Mangled EF1. I don't know. That may have been EF2 damage. And then if you take a look across many areas, things topple and turned over several areas Marty said he came across where folks had their roofs ripped off mainly tin roof areas so winds EF0 EF1 strength but he couldn't get to everything. We can't show you, of course, all those areas from those different circulations. He went up north of Duke. He talked to many folks restoring power across the region. At least 25 power poles were snapped yesterday. So widespread damage for sure, unfortunately, to folks cleaning up in southwestern Oklahoma. Now, let me show you the stats. 136 tornadoes for the year. That's what we've seen here in 2024. The record is 149. So it's not a record as far as the most tornadoes all year, but for November it is. By the way, we're sitting at third place for the entire year. There goes the storm. Goodbye. We've got some snow going on in the Rockies. Heavy, blowing snow in the Cascades. Take a look up near Seattle, just to the east. Yeah, those are blizzard warnings going on. That's a potent storm system. That'll kick up the wind for Oklahoma as it makes its way our direction. Little fog to greet you this morning. It's getting a little bit better. And you look up to the north, up near Perry, Red Rock, that's where it's the most dense, has been this way overnight. And I think we'll continue to see some more of this settle on in. You can kind of see it in the street lights on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. It is 46 degrees as you head out. Now, is it chilly? Yes. Is it absolutely cold? No. We're actually 10 degrees plus above our average for this time of year. 20s and 30s in the northwest. We have a northwest breeze, but it is so very light. We've got a bit of a wind chill, feeling like the lower mid 30s in northwestern Oklahoma. Wind chills not really a factor in the metro. 58 by noon, 63 by 3 o'clock. That's our high today. Back up above average, it's going to be beautiful. And we have some pretty classic November days ahead. Low 60s across the metro, 50s in the northwest, still close to 70 today in southern Oklahoma. And we do have more ups headed our way. Our temperatures are going to get warmer. We've got a bit of a cool down for our morning lows. We'll try to get our first freeze of the season in here by Thursday morning. Then that storm system pulls away. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, gorgeous opening weekend of deer gun season, and it looks like we're going to see 60s and 70s. Then the cold front blasts in on Tuesday. This will try to bring Arctic air in here. A second surge on the way by Wednesday and Thursday, so we'll see. Thanksgiving looks to be in the 40s as of right now. It looks chilly, but traveling across the nation as far as major storms or winter storms, that's not showing up, so that's great. Now tonight we're back down into the 30s. It'll be a chilly one tonight for sure. 36 Guthrie, 35 El Reno, a light freeze in northwestern Oklahoma, 20s in our panhandle tonight. Winds are up a little stronger tonight versus this morning, but patchy frost possible. Also freezing temperatures in low-lying areas in the northwest, and it's that time of year. Highs for tomorrow, cooler than today. 50s on the way tomorrow, but still sunny skies. Thursday, 50s and low 60s. Beautiful, but that's more typical of November. Today is above average. Then we'll have those lows drop back down close to freezing. Thursday night into Friday morning, and then Saturday, Sunday, 60s, some 70s Sunday. Stronger cold front moves in. Rain chances go up by Wednesday of next week. Back to you guys.